Thank you so much for joining me on this next video of the C bio, bio portal tutorial. And so for this tutorial, I want to show you how to make an Alka print. So uh, Alka prints are a type of figure that allows you to uh, take a look at certain mutations and co-alterations for, 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 for uh, related to a certain tumor type. And what you see is a image a C a uh, a alka print that that we published, and so with the alka print, we were looking at the co alterations associated with KRAS G twelve C non small cell lung cancer, and so I wanted to demonstrate how to make alka prints, so you can also look at certain genes uh, and see how they are represented in terms of uh, related co alterations as well, and so I, I'll recreate this this alka print, okay. So loading up to the regular CBIO portal, and uh, so we're going to look at the studies that, that we want to take a look at, and we're going to select all, deselect small cell, and going to hit query by gene. And so we want to take a look at the co-alterations representing KRAS G12C. We're going to filter by KRAS G12C. So submit. And we're going to hit the Alka print tab. And I just wanted to show you. So you can see on this Alka print, there's 9% of patients, at least within all these studies, that have a KRAS G12C mutation. And so we want to capture all of these patients into one study so we can look at the co alterations specifically associated with this uh, cohort of patients. And so we're going to hit download. And we, we're going to hit, you hit virtual study or query study, but I think for this uh, tutorial, we're going to hit query, query study. So now we have all the patients who had the KRAS G12C uh, mutation altered examples. And so now we can take a look and enter the co alterations that, that we want to also uh, have on the figure. And so I'm just going to include. The, the the first couple, and typically I just have uh, a document that that I include for uh, with all the genes I want to include, so I can just copy and paste versus having to man manually insert each gene. Okay, and we're going to submit query. So now you can see, instead of that, I believe it was 11% or so, now we have 100%. And so, so all of these patients that we're taking a look at right now have the KRAS G12C mutation. In addition, we looked at patients with KRAS alteration. And as you can see, you know, all these patients should have a KRAS alteration. It's going to be sorted by KRAS G12C. In addition, we see a sub uh, subset of patients that have a, a KRAS amplification. In addition, we saw it by TP53, SDK11, KEEP1, EGFR, uh, SHIP2. And as you can see, these are the frequency in which uh, these genes are mutated within this KRAS G12C cohort that, that we uh, selected for. And so, uh, you know, once you have the, the genes that, that you uh, that you want to select for for this alka print. There's ways in which you can uh, change it and format the figure to uh, have it uh, better uh, visualized. So you can click on this bar in which will allow you to zoom in or out. So zooming out, you can look at the individual patients, but unfortunately you can't capture all the all the patients. And so typically I. I Now we're able to uh, better visualize uh, all the patients, and and if you want these um, these uh, texts also removed, then you can just hit uh, view, and you can unclick this show OQL filters. All right, and if you want to download the figure, you can just hit the multiple options, and also uh, you can. Uh, CBioPort has a custom view in which you can 
make alterations, customizations as you choose. If you click on this tab, but typically uh, I defer. And that's how to uh, make an alcoprint. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. All right, take care.